Hello fellow foodies, today I'm cooking a beautiful Welsh rabbit. This is the second recipe I've taken from the Welsh kitchen in my brand new series of exploring new cuisines from around the world. I've also taken inspiration from the fantastic Jamie Oliver. This is his recipe, I'm going to follow it through. I might make a few little tweaks here and there, but I really hope you enjoy watching. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the kitchen and show you how to create the most amazing Welsh rabbit. The first stage of this beautiful Welsh rabbit is to um, make this chutney. So this is what Jamie does. He has his red onion and he just chops this up. The next stage is some chilies. Now in Jamie's recipe, he uses uh, some red onion and some chilies which he roasts. I've actually got some chili oil which I made a few months ago. So these chilies um, originally were roasted. You can see that in the oil. I'm going to take these out. You can see these are quite long red chilies. These have been roasted in the oven, so they've got bags of flavour. There are a few seeds there, and I'm just going to dice these up roughly. So here I've got my pan. This is exactly what Jamie does. He has his red onion, a bit of oil, um, some nice chilies as well. I'm also going to add a little bit of dry chilies just to give it a bit of extra kick. Also a nice sprig of rosemary and a couple of bay leaves. This is what Jamie does, he adds his herbs into the mix and gives it a really good stir around. Next stage is to add a lovely bit of balsamic vinegar. I've got a nice sort of balsamic glaze here. This will add a really nice richness and a little bit of that nice acidity. I'm also going to add a little bit of sugar, just for a little bit of kick, a bit of sweetness. Just have a little taste to see how it's coming along. The next stage is a lovely bit of bread. Here I've got a fantastic loaf. This is a nice rustic loaf, and I'm just going to cut off a few slices. Three, this is the same amount that Jamie does. I'm going to put the bread into the toaster, just so we can get a little bit of color. Now this mix we're going to create now, we're going to lay on top of the toast. A bit of creme fraiche to a bowl, a couple of egg yolks as well, and some nice uh, Dijon mustard which I can just add in. Also a little bit of cheddar cheese. This is the same type of cheese which uh, Jamie uses. This is a really nice, strong, mature cheddar cheese. I'm going to give this a really good mix around now. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper and a bit of salt. I'm actually going to go back in and add a little bit more cheese just to give it a little bit more cheese, cheesiness, thicken up the, uh, the mixture a little bit as well. You can follow somebody's recipe, but it's really important to use, um, you know, your own, your own kind of flair and just to do it um, in some respects the way you want to do it. We're now going to assemble this lovely Welsh rabbit. I have um, some nice kind of lightly toasted bread. I'm going to add this um, lovely red onion concoction on, onto the top there. We can add that onto all three bits of toast. I'm now going to add the, um, the creamy cheesy mixture and also a bit of that lovely cheddar on top. I'm going to put this under the grill. 
a nice bit of um, kind of quite fierce heat just to get that really nice and bubbling away. And I'm going to put this onto a wooden board. This is um, exactly what Jamie Oliver's doing in his recipe. is just to make some cuts into this lovely bubbling away uh, cheesy toast and adding a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. There we have it, the most amazing Welsh rare bit. I pretty much follow Jamie Oliver's recipe to a T with a few little tweaks with the red onion sauce. But I'm so happy with how this has turned out. This is really easy, really, really flavoursome and the most amazing thing to have uh, for a little snack or for lunch, whatever you want. Thank you, Jamie, for a fantastic recipe. Here we have the beautiful Welsh rarebit. This has been an absolute treat to cook. This is a very classical Welsh dish. I'm so pleased to have included it in my Welsh series of amazing food. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate your support. I'd love to know what you'd like me to cook next. Please leave a comment down below and let me know which cuisine is your favorite and what type of food you'd like me to cook in my next episode. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more fantastic content every week. Thank you so much and I appreciate your support.